Good morning. Good morning, you guys. We have not picked up the camera in two days and we're totally okay with that. Um, we've been going through a lot and we're here today on this vlog to kind of explain a little bit of what's been going on. But right now, I want to tell you guys how awesome of a mom Alex is because we are doing the cleaning. Look, there is no chairs in anything. They're all in there in the living room. We are sweeping the floors, we are vacuuming everything, we are steaming everything, and we're just kind of getting ourselves getting our ready. ready. And we're getting ready because we are flying next week and we're going to a different state. So. In order for us to have the energy and the capacity to be able to clean and do this like whole day of getting the entire house organized, we are getting Alex's green juice. How is it? It is not my good one. <laughs> this Why? one is not good. This one is very green. Friends, I have a higher if you tolerance. Are not... Because she's pregnant, things are, you know, not as tasty. And I get that. And she has no, cravings. It is not good. Taste it. She pretty much has only cravings for Asian food right now. Pretty much. That's a lot of lemon. No, it's all the greens. That's like really greeny, good. Very green. Listen, guys, I'm gonna hulk up here in like three seconds. It's like too good for you. We do. We do like um. Makes your makes know. your body good. We do a lot of juices, but um, we're not crazy where That's we make really them good. Like perfectly that healthy. Really we good. have like apples and beets and carrot and stuff. This is like just greens, apple and lemon. And lots of greens. Lots and lots of greens. I actually really enjoyed that. Alex, here's my goal. You gain 25 pounds, I lose 25 pounds. Okay. I'm just gonna jump into it this morning. Um, the reason we are getting this house all situated is because we were leaving for a few days. You guys saw a couple vlogs ago that we had our amazing news at our ultrasound. Um, but what you didn't see is a few hours earlier um, we got some news and so here you can just see kind of what happened. So we are at the fertility clinic to do our ultrasound, which you probably saw a few vlogs ago. Um, So I got a call this morning. Um, it's unbelievable. I can't even say it because it's so unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Um, I've been sobbing all morning and so I haven't been able to pick up the camera but um, I couldn't even say it to you this morning. Did we do it? <sighs> um, my we found out this morning that um, <sighs> that my sister passed away in her sleep last night unexpectedly and we're not gonna share it we don't even know why and I feel like the only only reason I would want to share it with you guys is just encouragement you never you never know the last time that you're going to be able to talk to someone so if there's that friend or that family that you haven't talked to in a while and you think I'll get around to it I'll call them later because you think for sure of course you're going to have later of course you're going <laughs> to Of course you're gonna have later. Why wouldn't you? So just en encouragement to pick up that phone, text, 
that friend, that family, that you love them. <laughs> and I know it seems foreign, like, you know, I, I was in the same boat thinking, well, none of that would ever happen to me because my family's all fine. So just, that's all. I don't have, I don't, I can't talk. I can't talk about it right now, but, um, just encouragement for you guys. So as you saw, um, my sister passed away a few days ago and we are going to be traveling out to go to her funeral. I know the number one question is gonna be, you know, what happened? We genuinely actually don't know what happened. They've done an autopsy, and but the results take six to 12 weeks to come back. If there was anything overly obvious, like that would have come back right away, but um, so it's gonna take a while for us to know kind of what happened, but. So that's why we've taken a few days off of vlogging and haven't talked to you guys a lot. Um, just life, life happens. So the girls are gonna be staying here with Mimi and Papa as well as, as some of our friends as we go and travel um, across the country to um, go be with family. And let's move on to something else today because I don't wanna talk about it anymore. It only took most of the day but we are all dressed and out of the house. But I have to say, I think this is the first time I'm not like in sweats or my pajamas um, in like three days. Is that right? I don't sure. know. I don't know. Maybe I've gotten dressed somewhere in there. Anyone who's gone through yeah, something like so this? I'm just thankful that I'm, like... you know, out of bed. Did you take your shoes off again? No, mom took my shoes I took off. Her shoes off. off. So one of the main things we have to do to plan going out of town is making sure I have... My chippies, my chippies, my chippies. Kinsley, I need you to wait, please. I want some more chippies. You can have more chippies. That is very nice how you said that. I will give you more chippies in just a minute, okay? In the car? Yeah, when we get in the shopping cart. In the blue car? I don't know what color it is. We can go look. So, okay. Okay. So one of the main okay. things with okay. traveling is I need okay. to make sure that I have all of my IVF meds. There's a couple that I need to refill. So I am going to the pharmacy to go pick those up and making sure all of that is in order because that's definitely one of the top priorities. So I just realized I called them my IVF meds and I kind of feel like I should start calling them my pregnancy meds. Because <gasps> they're my hormones just to keep my pregnancy going. And that is Mommy, awesome. Me. That's awesome. That's a mind change right there. I love that. Kinsley. So I had to move my prescription over to a different pharmacy. That is one thing with IVF that I've learned is sometimes certain pharmacies like run out and can't get a certain medication, but if you call around and you're persistent, you can find other pharmacies versus like having to change um, to a different prescription. But we haven't vlogged in days, so I'm realizing I haven't talked to you guys about any pregnancy symptoms or things like that. So I wasn't feeling anything for days and I felt like I don't feel anything. I didn't think that I was even gonna see anything on ultrasound because I really wasn't feeling anything. Nancy, come here please. But since the ultrasound, I would say the biggest thing is fatigue. Every single day I have taken a nap and I didn't know if it was emotional exhaustion, just everything we've been through, but it's been day after day of one nap and then maybe wanting a second nap and like my eyes like burn, I'm so tired and just like, I literally pass out and take a nap every day. And usually like if I take a nap during the day, like I can, but it's like, I, I intentionally take a nap. This is where I'm like, I wake up and I'm like, I did not realize I just fell asleep on the chair. <laughs> Kinsley's cold and wearing daddy's jacket. And then Kinsley said, can I hold your hand? And Callie doesn't want to, but Kinsley's girls. holding on anyways. <laughs> Are you girls saying hi to everybody in the store? Can say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Cutest kids ever. Look at her just no. swimming no. in my sweatshirt. No. You know what's awesome? Legitimately, I remember wearing my dad's like basketball jerseys and football jerseys when I was a kid. And in fact, I actually unearthed a photo of me when I was like five wearing my dad's jersey. And I was swimming in it just like that. 
and I look at it now, I'm like, I could, I could probably like fit, like it'd be a perfect size for me right now, because I'm about the age of my dad uh, when I was really, really young. Um, and I just am like, oh my gosh, like time flies, like we grow so fast. And before we blink, we're just gonna be like Don't say it. Older no, and they're gonna, they're gonna be, be little forever. <laughs> they'll be little forever. Here, I'll take her. Restrooms, here we go. Hold. I got you. Which one am I taking? This one? Mama. Callie, you don't have to go potty in the toilet yet. Unless you want to. Kinsley potty trained herself. It's wild. And I bet Callie will be able to do the same soon. Do you want to potty train yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like wearing diapers though? Yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe we'll continue wearing them a little bit. Let's go keep playing, okay? Okay. Let's go walk around this door. Um, Callie, come back. Come back. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay, we're about to leave Target and we're all having meltdowns, but really quick, I wanted to show you, I am so proud of my friend. So many of you guys know this Gather Nest over here on YouTube. She is an adoptive mama. She's also an IVF mama, but it's, but she did embryo adoption and she also is a mama through biological children. But anyways, okay, in this magazine, in this People's Magazine, she is in it, you guys. How crazy is that? I am so proud of her. And I'm so proud of People Magazine for recognizing like such a good, solid um, family. Okay, I thought of another symptom. Other than being utterly exhausted every single day and taking a nap, I have been queasy. I'm not to the point where I feel awful and feel like I'm gonna throw up. It's just more of like, I feel like I need to eat something, but nothing really sounds good. Uh, like often I'm like, oh, I don't really want to eat anything, but I feel like I need to because like my stomach feels just like a little bit like Off I guess so tonight. I'm eating something bad because Philip was at the store and I said Yeah, I want pizza <laughs> So I'm eating that But I do have to say I am proud of myself because often I want a salad and I will cut up a bunch of lettuce and eat a salad so I'm I'm proud of myself we're still eating healthy too I don't know if any of you have been through major grief I would assume that many of you have everyone can grieve different and for me I feel I have my best moments when I'm distracted <laughs> when my friends have been here over the last few days keeping me distracted making me laugh um, bringing a smile to my face, just not kind of realizing what's going on. The hardest times for me is when it's quiet. The other day, poor Philip, he comes running in because he's afraid of, you know, what's wrong because he hears me, like, just utterly sobbing. Yeah. It's kind of been the last few days is just, it's like just gut-wrenching sobbing. And Philip runs up to me and I'm like hunched over. He's like, what's wrong? Are you okay? Are you okay? And you know, there's no other thing to say other than I'm sad. Um, the last few days have been a lot of pajama wearing, a lot of sweats, <laughs> a lot of low key, but being very thankful for friends that have kept me distracted. I'm a little nervous of um, the funeral. I'm excited to see my family and have everyone be together, but um, I'm just nervous. I feel like it's different when it's expected versus utter shock. Um, so thank you guys for your love and support. All of your comments have put a smile on my face, and which helps and keeps me thinking about positive things that are going on in life. But just like all pain, Philip and I say, you have to walk through it, not around it. So um, there are moments of walking through it and there's moments of just pausing in place where I'm not walking through it. I'm just trying to distract myself from feeling that pain. Um, for those of you who pray, if you could pray for my dad, my family is kind of a, a mix. So my sister is my sister, but um, we share the same dad, but we don't share the same mom. And so she's my half-sister and 
Of course, my mom is very sad, um, but my dad is utterly uh, devastated. And so any of you who can just pray for him, um, that would mean a lot. Go ahead and like this video. I know it's a sad video, but the like is just more um, love and support for our family, not um, that it's a positive video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet joined our family. And you guys, go let your love multiply. Bye.